Hi, stranger. This is kind of like we share a bed. Yeah. Wait, I kind of like this side of the bed better. Rise and shine. In Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. It's so cold! Good morning. What day of Vlogmas is it even? Day 18? We're almost to day 20. Good morning. This is our check-in. Check-in. How have you been doing? How is life? If you guys are in school, how was finals? If I was taking finals, I would fail. So don't feel bad if you also fail. Um, I wish I had more. It's a Thursday, I think. Having this job is weird because during Vlogmas I'm working every day, but in general, weekdays and weekends don't exist. Like there is no separation between the two. Every day is just a day. You know, you can work on weekends. You can work during the week. There's no rules. My goal today is to have a good day. I think we should share the same goal. Because that'd be pretty darn cool if we both had good days today. You've been MIA this vlogmas, haven't you? What have you been up to? I took a shit under your bed. I see, yeah. Getting up and going is the hardest part of the day. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I hope you guys are liking vlogmas. I know this year's vlogmas is different than last year's. Last year I was super depressed and I don't know if that's like quirky and fun for some people, but it sure as hell ain't quirky and fun for me. And this vlogmas has been a lot different than I honestly thought it was gonna go. I'm having fun with it and I think you guys are too. I think you guys like the videos. I'm gonna be honest here. I've been having anxiety because I think you guys really like watching me alone, which is fine. I love when it's just me and you, but also so, like vlogmas is that one time a year where I get to like show what I'm actually doing it's real time like with my boyfriend it might be weird for you guys that I'm not alone I didn't want to say no to the opportunity to see him because we are long distance just because I was afraid that you guys might not like vlogmas as much I want to thank you guys for being so nice but all I want to say is these next 10 days or I don't know it's just gonna be me and you and we're gonna have fun and I'm excited um well my mom will be here but you know what I mean I know I probably shouldn't be having anxiety over it but I am and so I just want to talk about it because I talk about everything with you guys. I'm sorry if Vlogmas feels different, but that's because my life is so much different and I'm so much happier. Yeah, okay. I'll try and cry more. <laughs> We're at Starbucks. I'm about to order the best drink ever. Good morning, welcome to Starbucks. Let's get started for you. Could I please have a grande iced white chocolate mocha with peppermint? Should I ask for a pup cup? Yeah! I think he said yes. Could I also get a pup cup? I asked for you. Thank you. You too. Duncan, those are not for you. Those are for a hungry man at home. Sorry, all of a sudden we were just kind of at Starbucks. I didn't really give you guys much warning. I still taste the toothpaste in my mouth, so I don't want to drink my coffee yet, but I figured we can get ready together today because I just really feel like talking, lots of talking. I have thoughts and opinions. We're gonna go home and get ready. And I Duncan, you just keep getting chonkier. I mean, same. It's registering him. I'm wearing my seatbelt, don't come for me. It's Duncan. Okay. You naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. I don't know, have we ever been in my garage before? Or this garage? Probably not. Whenever my anxiety gets bad, which is right now we're gonna talk about why in a minute whenever my anxiety is really bad typically something that helps me is i pick something to do and then i do it something that is going to require a lot of thinking and for me that is figuring out how to get rid of my love sack well not get rid of it let's just back up for a second and not get rid of it i just need to vacuum seal it down because there's no more room for it in my living room and as of right now i don't need it upstairs as you can see it's taking up too much room in my garage and i can't park in here so my goal today is to be able to park my car in the garage 
this has just got to go. So you have to like order a moving kit from Love Sack in case you ever want to get one of these things. They're way overpriced, so I don't know if I recommend it. They just send you a giant Ziploc, and I somehow have to get, I have to get the actual sack itself out of the cover, and then get it into this, and then vacuum seal it down. Girl, Bob. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have high hopes that I can do this, but I am going to put forth a full effort. Some prayers. Much needed. How far does the zipper go? Oh, something being easier than I anticipated? That never happens. Now it's stuck. Oh, oh, Come out! Okay, garbage cans. This needs to be washed. I did it. There's supposed to be like a nozzle or something. Seems that bother you, never bother me. I feel happy, I'm fine. Ha -ha. Living in the sunlight, loving. You could definitely vacuum seal a human in here. You could definitely vacuum seal a human in here, but for legal reasons. I'm kidding. I'm confused. Where do you put it in? like a fan in the wall. Where would I do that? I'm so confused. Are you? Oh my god. Were there other instructions? I followed the rules. This doesn't want to work. Did you know they don't put outlets in garages? Uh, that is not correct. I hate heights. They make me want to pee. The is still hitting the Christmas lights on the 17th. It's just <laughs> depressing at this point. The fuck off. They're not quite long enough, but I'm going to stretch this bitch out. Oh my god, wait. They fit perfect. It's been a while. I took a shower. My hair is looking absolutely crazy. I lost a fingernail. RIP. There are some things that have been getting to me recently, and I know I should just have a I don't give a fuck attitude. I genuinely care about you guys and like care about the things that you think. Sorry, I just really feel like I want to chill and talk. So, I'm gonna do my makeup with you guys. It won't be anything fancy, so don't get excited. We're going on a dinner date because he is leaving. And then I'm gonna go relax for the evening. So, I got some new stuff from Alta because they never, I've never seen Hourglass products in Alta before. And you know what? I was a little bit curious. So, I got some. This is their Mineral Veil Primer. Um, ooh. Wait, this is not what I expected it to feel like. I probably used way too much. Let's just begin at what's been giving me anxiety. I really care about what you guys think. Almost to a point where it's not healthy anymore. Hold on. Ooh, that sure did its job. I overshare probably with you guys. There have been some of you guys that have not been the happiest with this year's Vlogmas, which I understand you can't please everyone, okay? I understand that's how the world works. And obviously I have much more people watching this year's Vlogmas than I did last year's Vlogmas. So there's like a lot more people to impress, I guess. The comments that bother me, just because I don't think it's fair, are comments that say some variation of the following. I used to really like your channel. I used to really like your videos. I liked Vlogmas better last year. Or I prefer the person you were last year. But people don't know is I literally wanted to die. That's just so hard for me to comprehend. And I understand that seeing people happy can be triggering, because uh, I've definitely been there. I would never try and make someone feel bad or uh, make them feel as if they've done something wrong for growth, like for being happy, you know what I mean? Like for progressing in their life. Today I was sitting there, it ruined the whole vibes for this vlog, which is kind of why, is this too light for me? Um, it ruined the whole vibes for the vlog. It's all I could think about all day long, was I'm not doing good enough or I have to seem more depressed or something because I'm not crying this year because I'm not wanting to die. I realized at some point today that that's just not fair for me. I know that most of you guys don't want me to feel that way. I'm going to try and just not worry about it. That isn't me like shaming you guys for sharing your opinions. You're obviously allowed to share your opinions. It just sucks when you work so hard for so long to get your mental health in a place where you're chilling, you're happy for once in your life. And then there's people that comment like, hey, like you better before. That's fine. I just need to not let that dull my sparkle. Jer always says like, don't let anyone dim your light. Other than that, you guys have pretty much seen your girl. 
is thriving. I think the difference between this year and last year is sure, it might have seemed like I was thriving online last year, but I wasn't. And this year I'm like happy in my real life. Like I go to bed excited to wake up the next day. Believe it or not, that's a new thing for me. That's uh, not how I've always been. <laughs> I'm really grateful for this whole past year. Whenever New Year's comes up, it's always a big reflection period for obviously a lot of people. For me this year, it's just looking back at actually how many blessings I've had this past year. I think I started this year around like 200 and something thousand and now we're at like 625. The opportunities that I've experienced this year are so fun. I wasn't able to do like a whole lot because of COVID. But here's the thing. I'm using this. Um, it did fall out, but it still it still works, so I'm gonna keep it. Well, basically, in conclusion, as if I'm writing an essay, the difference between me last year and me this year is that I'm happy. I didn't know what to expect for Vlogmas this year. I didn't know what it was gonna be like. If you really miss 2019 Vlogmas vibes, that's what the next couple weeks is gonna be like. I could just not say anything when things bother me, but I don't know. I feel like you guys have always been honest with me, and I've always been honest with you, and so we can have these talks without getting mad at each other, you know? Like, we can have these conversations. I'm sorry to anyone that feels as though I've changed. I mean, I have. I've grown up. I'm a completely different person than the person I was a year ago. I'm incredibly proud of that. I lost a chunk of eyelashes. I also really could use a good eyebrow plucking. Would you take me on a date? Would you? Take me on a helicopter ride across Petty. My eyelashes are gonna trigger me. I'm gonna go do my hair and then I'm gonna go out to dinner and have a really fun and really just relaxing evening. I'm sorry if I have disappointed any of you guys, but I'm also not sorry for being happy and living my life in the best way that I can. And I know most of you guys are here for me no matter what and support me no matter what stage of my life I'm in. So I love you guys so much. Like you don't even understand so much. This could be an effect, but it's not. It's my breath. The next week is gonna be filled of so many Vlogmas 2019 vibes. If you've been itching for those Samantha Joe alone with the occasional Mama Kelly vlogs, this week's gonna be for you. I love you. And I'ma miss you until tomorrow. Bye. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other.